No, these, yeah, they, they, they do use these ones as well. Um, but there's actually a lot of different types of rainbow fish in Australia and also New Guinea and places around. Um, no, no hardy heads, but there are, there are hardy heads. And then obviously Cherex Destructor, the little yabby. Um, I haven't got any shrimp in there, but I'll show you something else also so you saw that that's our little tadpole you munch him down i don't know whether you can see him but that's what's called a damselfly larvae and in the other spot we were getting these much bigger ones dragonfly larvae and um really good bait but also very very effective little fish hunter these things also eat fish and if you've ever seen aliens or uh, predator, where it's got the protruding jaw that flies out, grabs you, and pulls you in, and doesn't give you a very good time. They're based off this little guy. I don't know if you can see his mouthpiece as it comes out. So it shoots out, grabs hold of whatever's in front of it, pulls it back in, chews its head off. So nature in wetlands is actually horrifying if you're that size. <laughs> Okay, at our size. <laughs> Absolutely terrifying if you're this big, huh? <laughs> and that's it. So have you got any questions or yeah, you want to ask? And I think an important feature is also look at the water. It looks black. It is black. But it's got high quality oxygen or the high high levels of oxygen in it. And it's actually extremely clear as well. You know, it's that tannin water when you look in, you can actually see a long way. So it's got good light penetration, and that, that actually then allows for aquatic plants to start to grow in as well. But too many trees. 